<laughs> Boom. BTX is not a bike that you can do awesome tricks on, but it's an acronym that stands for benzene, toluene, and xylene. These three chemicals are the backbone in making plastics, paints, and gasoline. We're going to get cracking, pun intended, on how NAFTA is upgraded into BTX. First, the crude oil is transported to the plant via ship or pipeline where it is prepped for refinement at the desalting unit. Salt is a natural byproduct of oil. And when the oil is heated with the salt, the salt causes corrosion of the equipment, so it must be removed. The removal process consists of the crude oil entering a separation tank where it is washed with water Electrostatic electricity is introduced to the mixture to pull out the salt from the oil. This also further separates the oil from the salt water. Once this is done, the oil is siphoned and it is introduced to the crude fire furnace so that the oil can be heated and then distilled in the atmospheric distillation tower where the oil is separated in its fractioned products by their specific boiling points. The primary place that NAFTA is derived from is straight from the atmospheric distillation tower. This is known as virgin NAFTA because it is untouched by any process and it is stored to await blending from the crack NAFTA. Crack NAFTA is basically NAFTA that comes from the byproducts of the secondary conversion units of the plant, such as the fluidized catalytic converter unit and the cokers. These coal-like byproducts known as coke undergo a sophisticated process that purifies the naphtha and also separates the other components into syngas. This is done by having the byproduct go through a furnace where it's heated then it's met by a catalytic reactor where limited amounts of oxygen and water in the form of steam interact with the coke forming carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas. This is known as syngas. The hydrogen also interacts with the sulfur making hydrogen sulfide. The volatile gases are going to leave the reactor and are going to be purified of hydrogen sulfide which is a poison to the noble catalyst in the reforming unit. The removal of sulfur is done in an amine scrubber, where the first step is that the sour gas goes through a series of separators so that contaminants can be filtered out. This prepares the sour gas to interact with the contact tower, where the gas will rise through the descending amine solution, where an exothermic reaction takes place which is a high temperature, low pressure situation. The purified gas, which is now sweet, comes off the top and goes down to the scrubber where the amine solution is filtered from the naphtha. The naphtha is then sent to a cooler so it can be stored and prepared for the reforming process of upgrading naphtha to BTX. Our final leg on upgrading NAFTA to BTX, this is a process flow diagram of the reforming unit where NAFTA is met by hydrogen gas to be pressurized to 5 to 45 ATMs. This is to prevent coking and minimize the premature formation of ethane, propane, and butane. The pressurized NAFTA will go to a preheater where it's warmed significantly to be prepared to be vaporized at the first of three furnaces. There are three furnaces to control the temperature of 
495 degrees Celsius to 525 degrees Celsius throughout the reaction. This is because the reaction is highly endothermic and this means that it absorbs heat or loses heat while the reaction takes place. The vaporized reactants flow through the first fixed bed reactor, which is where the majority of the reaction takes place where hydrogen bonds are removed from the naphtha forming aromatics. This causes the temperature to drop and the reaction to stop. To maintain the required reaction temperature and rate of reaction, the vapor is reheated in the second furnace before it flows through the second reactor. The temperature again drops across the second reactor and the vaporized steam must go through the third furnace before it goes through the third reactor. The hot reacting product from the third reactor is partially cooled by displacing the heat to the heat exchanger that preheats the naphtha and hydrogen to the first reaction. The BTX is then cooled and then sent to a gas separator where hydrogen is extracted from the BTX and is recycled back into the system in the hydro cracker and the desulfurization unit. The BTX then goes to a stabilizer where off gases such as ethane, methane, and butane is extracted from the system. The bottom feeds are now high octane reformant which is used for premium gasoline blending if margins are high. But if margins are low, then the BTX is separated out so it can be sold as feedstock to the chemical industry.